Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are on the World SMP and there's some stuff that has been changed. First off, we are now on a new snapshot. We are on the 34D version of Minecraft and that means a few new things including the new attack thingy as you can see there in the bottom right hand corner on the, the just there. Um, when I attack, there's now a limit on how fast you can attack. As you can see, I'm going to hit my mouse quite hard so you guys can hear it. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Yep, yeah, so uh, there's definitely some changes and I get I can't wait to show you guys them But anyway, can we preface this video by going for I don't know just like hit the like button That'd be awesome. Thank you guys if you did that and you are awesome But I wanted to try out some of the new stuff that we've added Oh, and yeah, I've actually done a lot of changing and a lot of stuff I need to actually first of all show you guys But first I wanted to check out this bank because um, I just wanted to see what it was like but uh, yeah, there's a couple of stuff that's changed, a couple of stuff that I really want to show you guys, and this is also going to be a really talky episode now. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of talk about some stuff that is going to be quite quite important, not necessarily about this series, but just in general. And uh, yeah, so oh yeah, oh well, you already saw this one, lol. Yeah, so gold blocks to diamonds, pretty awesome, cool. Uh, oh, everyone's taking the diamonds. Oh no, they're not, they're just there, cool. But yeah, uh, we've got to try that out soon. I, I really want to get some more diamonds, but yeah. So, let's go to the nether mall. I want to show you guys what I've done so far. Alright, so now we're in the nether. I honestly prefer the nether. It's a lot less laggy than spawn, because spawn is getting super laggy. I don't really know why. Um, God, I'm still only on 50 FPS. This snapshot's been a bit crappy for me uh, in this FPS thing, because last episode I was getting like 120. It was easy to record. Now I'm having to sort of record in 30 FPS, which isn't great. Um, but yeah, there's been some new shops that have decided to pop up soon. As you can see... This like sweet cakey kind of thing. Uh, we've got Avo's Greenery, which he's probably blocked off for the giggles. Oh, here's Rio's new shop. Rio's Enchants and Potions. Nice, cool. Um, it's looking pretty cool. I like it. I don't think he's got any on sale. Uh, baked potatoes. Ooh, need. Damn, it's empty. And then we've got Cytrix's Hardware Shop. And a lot of these have got like the built the shop but they haven't actually got anything on sale which is what we need to sort of work on we've built a lot of the shop but we haven't got a lot on sale as in we have nothing on sale um, and here's Jada's post office now I really wanted to get one of these because this is pretty cool as you can see someone has let's see if we can find anyone's letter Mads's letter let's have a look at this okay cool um, but uh, yeah it's quite cool because people can send letters to each other I think it was there but um, yeah I think that's quite cool I don't want to snoop around in people's letters but it's pretty cool. I think I, I kind of want to get one of these. How much are they? Instructions. I think they're like two two gold uh, blocks, which is kind of ex expensive, but it's definitely going to be worth it in the future. Oh, and finally, we've got an ender chest here. Oh, and we've got some hard clay in there because I remember putting it in there earlier. But yes, yeah, so we've been doing some editing on the shop. Now, I want to show you guys this. Here's the shop. Now, it's not looking how I wanted it, and I'm going to be honest with you, when I built this in my creative world, I built this with one more expansion that way, and one more expansion that way, um, and it was quite cool, and you could see a lot of the green, and it wasn't just one plain colour of acacia wood, which is what it's now looking like, there was this nice entrance way, which is all green, and I've kind of had to go and change it up, so now you can only see acacia wood, which is kind of bad, I don't really care, it's nice, but I just don't think it's right. It's not 100% what I wanted it to be, and it doesn't look like how I planned it as well. Secondly, we've got the stairs here. Now, unfortunately, I've got the jumpy stairs, which I wanted to... Oh, sorry. I wanted to put the um, some sort of stairs up here, but I don't want to put stone brick ones because they look super out of place, if you know what I mean. And obviously, I could swap the room around, and this be the green one, and this would be the stone brick, but I think that'd equally look a bit stupid. So, um, yeah, whatever. Then we've got this nice little pillar area. This is where all the chests will be, one, two, three, four, five. These will be the top five bargains of the week or something. These will be just some three other random chests. And the big stuff will be up there, like the, the just generic stuff. Some of my previous comments also said that the bedrock roof looks a bit pooey on here. Uh, yeah, it does. I'm going to be honest with you, it does look a bit dodgy. I'd rather have the bedrock roof, though, um, rather than having to move the whole shop one down. Just because it's easier, and, and this is going to just sort of be the storage area and uh, some extra additional shop slots. So I don't really know. It's not going to be too important, I guess. But uh, yeah, thank you for your consideration, though. Um, 
And yeah, that's going to be the shop so far. Obviously, we're going to probably do that off camera because we don't really need to do much of that. I didn't really want to do a speed build for it because, again, I don't have any alt accounts I can use. And replay mod isn't for the new snapshot derp. Um, but yeah, looking all right, I guess. The inside I prefer a lot better than the outside. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Cool. And again, one of our mall citizens has decided to go and climb everything. Couple of funny stories as well. Uh, we've had several ghasts in the shop previously, and it's quite funny because they are a bloody nightmare to get out. As in, oh wow, I didn't see this one. Any any sale? No. Dirt. But yeah, there's loads of um, loads of ghasts that keep on spawning in here, and, and that we have to kill them before they end up like blowing up things because a lot of the stuff in this shop is made out of netherrack, as you can see up here. And it's bloody lethal when one of these guys fires a fireball at them. Oh, what's this? I bet you this chest's also empty. Yeah, damn. No one's filling up these chests. So I really want to go... Bo oh. Crap. Derp. I didn't do it. Um. There we go. Cool. Fixed. But yeah, loads of people need to fill up their shops so we can buy some stuff and sell some stuff and things. So yeah, let's do that. Alrighty then guys, so I just had to go and restart my computer, a couple of my actual recordings just failed, but basically I came over here and I was just talking to my, well, myself about um, about like recent events and I was going to basically ex like talk to you guys, oh this looks really nice by the way, I, I said this as well, have I built this I think, looks awesome, but um, yeah there's a couple of stuff I really need to talk about this episode, mainly to do with people going back to school and sort of plans for that as well, because I've got like a week extra but like it's gonna creep up on me and I really need to sort of discuss with you guys the sort of plan around that I've also been pranked I believe uh, I'll go and have a look at that in just a second but um but yeah that, that's really what I need to talk about for this episode so yeah it will be a quite a talky episode but uh yeah I'm sorry but if you guys like that fair enough I mean hey you get to go down and, and see me as like an actual human being and communicate rather than just one of these youtube -y guys um I kind of prefer that Personally, I prefer talking to you guys and asking for your assistance and help and tips and tricks or whatever. It's just easier as well. And I know that you guys are in the same boat. I can give you guys advice if that makes sense. All right, but first, I'm going to go and have a look at this prank over here. As you can see, it says uh, AG Pro MCSQ Eggs. Uh, um, the heck? Has he just built a heart? I bet there's something under this. It's AG. He's probably end up putting some sort of explosive. No, fair enough, he hasn't. It was just a big love, 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 love heart. Wow. Okay. Love, 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 love. Oh, James Rodriguez, Cristiano Ronaldo. Look, okay. The hell? This ag has gone a bit broken today by the looks of it. But yeah, thank, uh, thanks for the prank, I guess. Thanks for the wall as well. That's really helpful. <laughs> okay, so one of the things that I did... I think the chickens were supposed to be part of his prank. Um, but they've escaped into our pond. So I don't really know what that was all about. But yeah, uh, one of the things I need to talk about, and this one is quite an important one. Oh, he's buttoned up our house as well. Oh my god, this isn't even a funny prank, this one. Um, but um, yeah, the thing I needed to talk to you guys about was mainly to do with going back to school. Now, going back to school, you guys know my, my old ritual of uploading. It used to be sort of quite... I don't have a schedule, and I've never had a schedule, mainly because... I really don't like having a schedule, and that's mainly because if I say miss a day, I don't really know what to do from then, or like, do I change my whole schedule around it, or do, you know, etc, etc, um, and I know that sounds all good, or unorganized and everything, but it's just easier for me to upload when I can, and like, for example, just then I had like a four day, uh, like three days with my grandparents decided to come around, so it was really awkward, I couldn't really go and record a video, because I didn't want to like, ignore them, if that makes sense, I, you know, what I mean, if you you guys had grandparents around you probably wouldn't want to do that because just it's just getting considerate it's not a nice thing to do um but yeah so like having to restructure a schedule around that it's going to be a pain at the bum so i'd rather not do that um but yeah so now that school's going to be starting up i need to think about how i'm going to do uploads because i, I want to continue doing youtube and i want to try and do it for as long as i can if for one reason or for another reason i just at one point in my life i just say right okay i can't do youtube anymore the cons outweigh the benefits and like I don't mean to be like that's gonna sound really rude but um YouTube's not about the money at all but it's just a nice little hobby thing but when time and all of that catches up to you and you can't really do much it's just gonna be a point where you're gonna be like uh, I, I don't know I'm I don't want to have to ever leave the channel just because you know I built it from scratch from oh seriously whoever the frick's done this it's not even funny it's annoying um 
but yeah, it's it's a difficult thing to sort of discuss. Basically, I'm unsure about whether to like I, I'm not gonna quit YouTube if that's what like now anyway. But like, I just feel that that's what's gonna happen eventually, but with everyone. So I don't really know when I'll have the time to not upload, which will cause me to quit, which I really don't want to quit at all. I want to continue this for like forever, I guess, as like a dream, but like, I don't think you're going to be able to, if that makes sense. I don't think anyone can actually withstand, like all the big guys that like, after a while they do quit. They like, uh, the best example I can say is X Jaws, if you guys remember him. He was like a big Call of Duty YouTuber, and then one day just decided to quit on everybody. So. And, like, he got the money that he wanted from it, I guess, but it was just the fact that, like, it was so sudden and things like that, and that's what can happen, and I, I just don't want that to happen to my channel. Um, I'd rather have it so that you guys know that, but, like, for example, because I'm going to college, I don't know how the schedule will be, as in whether I'll have less time at home, which means I'm going to have less time to record, and um, I'd rather spend that time with friends or do whatever, if you know what I mean. I just, I don't really know how that's going to happen and how that's going to affect my channel as well because of it. So yeah, that, that's mainly all I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to exclaim about like talking about the um, how stuff's going to be different, or it, like it might it might be different. I don't know how things are going to change, and so I just want you guys to be prepared. That I don't think it'll go to the worst. I don't think I'll have to quit YouTube, but I don't know how uploads will go when school started because this is a completely new system, new schedule. I know that I have to spend a little bit more time in school as well. I've got five subjects, which is. Like, even when I told my form tutor, they, they were pretty stunned that someone could do five subjects because it's a big load of work, especially considering I'm taking a, a subject called Further Maths, which is supposed to be a really advanced maths course that is very difficult. So, if it comes to worst, I don't think I'll have to quit. Like, I don't think I'll ever be forced to quit YouTube, but I just don't feel that I might... It, it might affect me. That's all I'm going to say. It might affect uploads. It might affect... Um, like my school time, I might be having, like I'm not saying you, you know YouTube is going to be full time um, or anything like that, but it will affect me if I have to change stuff around on my channel because I don't like to do that. Um, but yeah, there we go. We got all rid of the buttons. I guess that talking did do something useful. But yeah, I just wanted to know what your your opinions were, guys. If you guys had an opinion on sort of like um, about like the same thing. I know that a few of you guys who, who were in the UK might have just finished your GCSEs. A few of you guys might have just gone back to school. Just stuff like that. I really need to sort of get people's opinion on what they're doing and if, they're sort of, if their schedule has been like drastically changed, then um, will it affect them? Or how are they planning to cope? Or how are they plan to get around it? If that makes sense, um, yeah, any help would be amazing. So thank you so much for listening to that one, guys. Hopefully you'll get some comments and actually some help from that. So that'd be great. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's that. We've done all of that. I guess we now need to actually work on going to make parts in the shop. So we've already done everything. Uh, I'm going to do the shop off camera, but I think it'll be cool. I'm just going to chuck everything there. Uh, I think it'd be cool to sell stuff that might be quite... Uh, actually get a shop running and selling. So the best thing I think we can do is to go and get myself some chests. Sorry, I keep having some sort of like hiccupy thingy, but... Um, yeah, get some chests and get some signs and get some everythings and we should be good enough to start the shop. Also, I'm thinking that we're going to need to make some sort of more efficient way of getting from A to B. And by A, I mean our portal here and B, I mean the nether mall. Because right now, we have to go across this really weird abandoned wasteland which is completely messed up as you guys can see it's a bit sort of higgledy piggledy and uh yeah so we're gonna have to make probably a minecart track all the way over to around here and then we need some sort of vertical lift thing oh as you can see people are really annoying me in the nether no one deletes their sort of like big parts and as you can see here just cobblestone stone dirt this one looks and then there's that one over there and then whatever the hell this is we need to fix this I think we'll have to have like a nether cleanup day uh, on the server and I can hear a ghast I guarantee it's gonna be in the nether mall I'm, I'm gonna keep recording because I guarantee it will probably end up being in the nether mall I can just feel it right yeah I hear it I hear it okay I'm gonna keep recording just because I think that it'll be let's have a look just out here quickly see if it's over here I don't see it it's over in this direction this this I think if my ears are correct. Alright, I'm going to do a quick scout of the area. I think it'll be around this left corner here. 
No, we're good. Oh. Somewhere here. I, I don't know. Okay. Well, I don't think it's in the nether more. Okay, we're happy. Whew. But yeah, that, that's a bit more... That's a bit of relief. I don't want to have to build my shop and then halfway through get blown up by a ghast. So, here we go then, guys. We now have the trap chest, the chest, and I done goofed and forgot to go and get myself some... Uh, Signs. Okay, let's do that then. Boom, boom. There we go. Oh. I didn't forget to get signs. I already had signs. Lel. So, this is how we're going to arrange it. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Logic. Then we're going to have a payment chest. The payment chest will probably be here. Let's call this one. Uh, and then payment chest there we go so that's the payment chest just there we might have a second one if that one overfills but i don't think so i mean there's no way you can fill up all these slots with golden ingots or golden blocks if so i will be very stunned so there we go that's cool now we need to actually find stuff to fill in the chests with so let's go around and see what people are selling i'm going to do this one off camera just so i can sort of see uh you know what we're doing so, dot, 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 dot. uh so yeah let's have a little look Okay, so as you guys can see, Corn's doing a nice block shop thing with 32 blocks is 3 gold ingots. I think I might do that. We have a load of blocks. We have a load of, like, andesite, granite, and stuff like that. And again, here's the clay, the hardened clay. 5 ingots for 32. So that means 10 per stack. Now, that's pretty OP. I like that idea. Still easy is doing his goal, a coal shop. I want something that's going to sort of compete with everyone. So that everyone's going to have to lower their prices because I'm going to be the OP shop. So, um, we've got the speed potions there. I'm going to have a look because I know that uh, Kirk's shop's quite OP as well. Let's have a look at that. Cheap blocks. Okay. I want to have a look at his prices. So, here we go. Moss stone. That's cheap. Damn. Stone. Okay, that's pretty good. I think people will actually buy that, so I, I think I might do something like that. Stone bricks, quartz blocks. Quartz blocks are good. Cool. So I want something that's going to sort of compete with that shop. So I'm going to say something like, we're going to have a block shop. We're going to have a block chest, and that's going to be 32 of any block for three gold, okay? And I'll put stuff like, um, well, I can't really... Yeah, I'll just have something like anything in this chest is one gold ingot or something like that. I don't know. Okay, so there we go. We've got the pick and mix blocks, I've decided to call that one. So that's going to be 32 blocks for th three ingots. So I'm going to have random blocks in there, and that's going to be quite cool. And then we'll have the clay here. So we're going to have some clay just there, and we're going to have that in stock. So we'll have uh, the hardened... How do you spell hardened? Sorry, I'm going to be a bit special here. Yeah, I spelled it correctly. Lel, cool. Hardened clay. Hardened clay. And this is where we're going to do something like that. So we're going to have 32 for... Now, I think corn shop was five. So I might compete with that one. Five, uh, five blocks. No, wait. Five blocks for five gold ingots. There we go. And then this will be the part where we're going to be selling clay. Um, I think... Where's the ender chest? Just over here. I think... Let's have a little look at how much we've got so far. So we've got... Let's go put this away. Let's go put this in the chest. Just so, just for some tests. So there we go. So, um... Here we go. Right. Put two in there. Two in there. And... One, two, three, four. There we go. So that's the amount of blocks. Technically, out of that, we could get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, uh, 25 gold ingots for all of that. I'm going to keep one of them just there, and I'm going to put that in my inner chest. That stuff is going to stay there. So you guys can pay all of that for there, and we've got the pick and mix blocks. I might do, like, a special... I, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these chests just here out of the equation. Okay, cool. And I think I'll put them somewhere else. Now, by that, I mean here and here. So, these are going to be the offers of the week, or the, the proper good offers. We're going to have stuff like that. As you can see, the pick and, mix, pick and mix blocks and the hardened clay. And then here might be an ad advanced tools stoof. I don't know. We're going to have like a level 30 enchantment pickaxe there, or a random enchantment stuff for a couple of gold or something like that. I think that would be quite cool. Or maybe something else. But yeah, for now, we've got the pick and mix blocks and the hardened clay. Obviously, we're going to need to fill up this chest sooner or later with some random blocks. So, yeah. 
I, I think that's pretty cool. It works pretty well. All right, okay, so this is going to be our first couple of fights. Oh, crap. Damn it. Uh, our first fight with a magma cream with the new combat system, and it's a bloody nightmare. I don't understand it very well. Um, there. Uh, damn. The horrible part is that I'm having to look at three things at once, but I'm having to look at my um, tool thing. Oh, yeah, I've got the little swishy effect now. Um, but I have to look at my, um, my tool thing and my everything. I like the hearts when you do some damage, though. That's quite cool. Um, uh, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't like the fact that I'm having to look at, like, three things at once. I'm having to look at my health here. Now, in normal PvP, this is all you really do. You look at your health, sometimes your hunger, you, you pretty much know when your hunger's going down. Um, so you don't really need to look at that very often. And you've got your armor there as well. And you don't, you, really, you just look at your health. That's pretty much all you ever do when you're in a fight. And then you can switch over and do different things. I'm having to look at three things right now. I'm having to look at, well, okay, no. In a normal fight, you look at your health, your hunger, and your armor. Obviously, they're all in the same place. So you don't have to dart your eyes. And obviously, you have to look at the player and kill him as well. So that's, that's like four things. And that's a pretty different, that's pretty difficult. Well, it's not too difficult because really, you're only really looking at your health and your, um, your player that you're fighting. And then the other stuff sort of just add ons. You sort of just have to do that as well. It's, you don't have to always be looking at your health and armor. But with this, I have to always be looking at my health, the player that I'm fighting, and the thing in the right hand corner. Obviously, I can change this one to the crosshair, but I don't th feel like in the cobblestone there, you can barely see it. Depending on like the lighting, you can barely see what you're doing. So, I prefer it in the hotbar. I just don't, I don't know. I'm really iffy with the new combat system. It's going to take a lot of getting used to. I might end up actually going to avoid the new combat system and working with just axes because I, I think I'd rather get the damage done rather than having to look at three different things at once. Obviously, we're right now in the update that is uh, the OP axes update. Next update, the 35, which has already come out, but we're just testing it for stability. The axes are less OP. So right now, this sword does six damage and my axe does nine. It's ridiculous. But yeah, obviously, in the new snapshot, they've been slightly nerfed. So it's now a bit more balanced. And uh, yeah, fair enough. Now, I've just seen something in one of these chests, and I think someone's hiding something from me, because I've just seen the orange stained clay just there, okay? And usually, you'd go past that and you'd think, okay, fair enough, orange stained clay, whoop de doo But I'm looking at that thinking, why did they make that? Why did they dye that orange, or was it found like that? And if it was found like that, that's making me think, has someone found the Mesa biome? Because if someone has found a Mesa biome, I'm going to be very ecstatic because we can go and sell hardened clay really, really well and get tons of it. So I, I really want to try and see if that's possible. So yeah, I've got my inventory filled with lots of wacky stone. Uh, I don't really want to be selling cobblestone. No one's going to buy it. I might sell smooth stone later on down the line. Um, in fact, I might do that just now, actually. So let's grab one, two. There we go. Cool. Yeah, cool. So there we go. We've now got every little bit of blocks that we want. We're going to also chuck them in the shop chest and hopefully that will be good. All right, then. So we're going to go over to the shop, put all the stuff away, end off the episode. But before that, I'm thinking that we need to also make a little potato shop. So I might have something in, in my uh, shop that's going to be selling baked potatoes. As you can see, there are currently two things that are doing um, the potatoes. I saw one shop. I can't remember who made it. It's probably... Um, MCGN because he has his Jojo's potatoes in like every season of world so lol um, But I really do think that we could make a little potato shop or something like that because I think I'm running low on them I think we have a really sustainable potato um, Farm if that makes sense you guys probably haven't seen it But uh, yeah, we have a really nice farm that sells potatoes and I think overall it's just gonna be a pretty nice um, sort of system of making money so there we go guys, that is the OP blocks, pick and mix and, and everything like that. So as you can see, 32 for 3 gold ingots. So yeah, we're selling them quite cheaply. I think the first things to go will be the nether brick, the stone and the glass. And this stuff might go, I don't know how quickly it'll go, but it should go pretty fast. I'm hoping that we can get some sales before the end of next episode, or sorry, for the start of next episode. And we can go and check our payment chest and it'll be like filled to the brim with gold ingots or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think that's a pretty good stuff for now. That's pretty good. And, um, so yeah, that was a pretty successful shop thing. 
I'm happy with it so far. Obviously, we need to go and work on the interior because still we've got the nether brick wall there. We finished off this wall here. We haven't done that wall there yet and that wall and that wall and that one. So we will have to do that and the roof, of course. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, please remember to hit the like button. It really does help out. And I will see you all next episode. Peace out.